Satnam, this is Ardas Carr, and I'm back with you for our 11th Mantra Monday. And today I come to you from beautiful Los Osos, California. A magical place where life is simple, nature is alive, and life is good. So today's mantra is for creativity. The mantra is Had Hare Hari Wahe Guru. So Had is the seed potential. If you think of Had, another name of the divine, Had is that infinite potential that's within each and every one of us. Had Hare is the creative flow of the divine force. It is creativity in action. Had, Hare, and Hari is manifestation, manifesting everything. Had, Hare, Hari is like thinking, think of it as you set an intention or plant an idea and then you let it flow. And as you let that flow with that creative force, it manifests into something beautiful. Had Hare Hari. And Wahe Guru is that expression of wonder, of wow. That amazing process, watching it unfold. Had Hare Hari. Wahe Guru. So, I think of this as a very important, important mantra, an important tool for all of us right now, as we are seeking for ways to find understanding and peace with everything that's happening, all that's changing in the world, in ourselves, in the environment, on our planet. When we can chant and we can fill our being up with Had Hare Hari, we can plant all those seeds. We can manifest what we want. We can create what we want in our life, whether that be more understanding, more kindness, more peace, more love. And so as you listen, I want you to move. I want you to feel. I want you to create as we are all creating and co-creating on this planet right now. Allow this mantra to create what you want in your life. To create for those around you, for the better, and for the planet as a whole. Had Hare Hari, Wahe Guru. So let us begin by rubbing the palms of the hands together. And bring the hands to the heart center, the center of your chest. Press the thumbs in and up at the sternum. Roll your shoulders back and down. And I want you to rise through the crown of the head. Press your sit bones into the earth. I hope you're bringing your practice outdoors as often as you can. Experiencing the elements in a new way as it feeds your practice. But you can be sitting on a bolster, you could be sitting on a block, on a pillow, or even in a chair to do this practice. So I want you to close your eyes now with me. Press your palms together. Press the thumbs in and up at the sternum. Allow the shoulders to relax down your back, rise through the crown of the head. Focus on the breath, long, deep, even inhalations through the nose. Long, deep, even exhalations through the nose. Inhale deeply through the nose. Exhale deeply out through the nose. 
Inhaling, expanding the belly, the rib cage, the chest begins to lift, filling up. Exhaling, letting go, releasing what's no longer needed. Inhaling to take in a new breath, a new moment, a new idea. Exhaling to release the old, our old ways of being as we create anew. Inhale and exhale to empty out, let go. And so we begin our practice, as always, in Kundalini Yoga by tuning in with the Adi Mantra. Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo. I bow to the Creator, the Divine Teacher that is within each and every one of us. Just allow it to set and calm the mind and prepare us for practice. We'll chant this three times. Join me now. Inhale deeply. Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo Ong Inhale deeply. Hold the breath, suspend the breath, remain in the present vibration of the Adi Mantra. All mantra holds vibration, carries it. Exhale, let it go. Bring your hands to the knees. And first you're going to hear the mantra Hari, the mantra of manifestation. You're going to hear it from one of my favorite Kundalini Yoga teachers, Krishna Kar, a fantastic person, woman, teacher, an artist. Hands on the knees, rotate the torso in one direction. Close your eyes and breathe. Blessed is he who utters the Hari, Hari, Hari takes him in his favor. Blessed is he who utters the name Hari, Hari, Hari then walks. By his side. Feel the earth beneath you. So Breathe deeply. Utter the name Hari. Hari. Vibrate this glorious truth. And a Hari. Beautiful. 
beautiful. Next time you come front and center, yes, pause. Take it in the opposite direction. Inhaling as you come front and around. Exhaling back and around. She who understands the ways of honey, honey is never confused by the Maya. She who understands the love of honey. dwells deep within beautiful take a nice so big breath in sister, exhale slide the hands down grab onto your shin basic spinal flex and you you just don't know what to do Flex that spine forward and back. Let the breath propel the motion. Feel the creative flow of this movement. Beautiful. Bring the hands to the knees. Tap into that element of water that is all around me right now. The element of earth grounds us. The element of water allows us to shift, change, grow, manifest, create and co-create. Feel your spine wake up with this beautiful energy. Of the Kundalini that moves through us, that awakens, awakens consciousness, awareness. Beautiful. Take a nice big inhale. Grow nice and tall. Good. Exhale. Let it go. Inhale. Big breath in. Arms wide and up. Good. Exhale. Take your left hand to your right knee. Right hand behind you and twist. Inhale. Big breath in to lengthen and lift. Exhale. Go in the other direction and twist. Good. Inhale. Exhale, do it again. Inhale, lengthen. Grow tall, then take all that length with you as you twist. Good, inhale. Good, exhale. Interlace behind the back, knuckles to the earth, heart to smile. Big breath in and big breath out as you fold forward. Bowing to the earth. Bowing and setting your intention. Set your intention. Set that intention. Whatever it is for you. Maybe you want to create more love, more understanding, more acceptance in your life. Maybe you want to create more peace within your heart, mind, and soul. Maybe 
Maybe you want to create a new way of being, of living. Set that intention now. And then walk your hands back. I want you to swing your feet behind you. Swing your feet behind you. Come into a tabletop position where you bring your fingers, you spread your fingers like starfish, right under the shoulders, knees come together. Good, inhale, lift the right leg back and lift that heart. Exhale, knee to nose, round the spine. Inhale to lengthen and lift. Exhale, knee to nose, keeping the elbow straight the entire time. And one more time. Then inhale, lengthen and lift. Lift the heart, lift the leg. Good, exhale, release. Knees come together again. Extend the left leg back. Heart lifted. Exhale, knee to nose, round the spine. Inhale to lengthen and lift. Exhale, knee to nose. First and second chakras to ignite your third chakra. Last time, inhale, lengthen and lift. Beautiful. Exhale, release, and separate the knees, hip distance apart. I want you to curl the toes under now. Inhale. Exhale. So we move through cat. And cow. Allowing the energy to move up and down the spine. Wahe Guru Har Hare Hari Wahe Guru Har Hare Hari Wahe Beautiful take a nice big breath in Har Hare Hari Toes curled under Exhale lift the knees off the earth tailbone to the sky head down downward facing dog Good, and I want you to soften the left knee as you seal your right heel and left hand only into the earth. Good, now bend the right knee as you seal your left heel, right hand only. Head is hanging heavy the entire time. Good, now I want you to inhale both heels high. Exhale, drop your heels to the right. Inhale, heels high. Exhale, drop them over to the left. Inhale, through your center. Exhale, drop them over to your right. Feel the left side of the body get a nice, beautiful stretch. Inhale, 
Heels high. Exhale, drop your heels slightly over to the left. Feel the right side of the body. Get a nice, beautiful stretch. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Heels come straight back and down. They don't have to touch. Now I want you to allow the knees to bend, but arms are straight and strong. And I want you to shake your head in a no fashion, in a yes fashion. You can continue that as you pedal the heels. Shake out the head and hips. Walk the feet forward between the hands. Good. Take your hands to your shins and lengthen your heart forward. Create a flat back as if you're lengthening your heart right through the spine. Good. Exhale. Fold forward. Bow forward. Inhale. Soft bend in the knees. Inhaling to rise all the way up. Mm. Exhale. Hands to the heart. Experiencing all the elements. The water, the wind, the earth. Good. Inhale. Lengthen, flat back, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana, fold forward. Good. Inhale, soft bend of the knees. Helps you to rise all the way up. Reaching for the sky. Exhale, cactus the elbows. Pull the elbows back. Good, inhale, reach, exhale, go right through your center, bow forward, inhale, exhale, fold, bow, inhale, rise all the way up, now hook the thumbs, exhale, lean over to your right, inhale through the center, exhale over to your left, good, inhale, lean back, Exhale, hands to the heart. Toes out, heels in. And let us go into frogs. Frogs is a quick and effective way to move the energy of our lower chakras, especially the creative chakra, our sacral chakra, into the heart and higher centers. It's also fantastic for a physical and mental lift physically and mentally, lifting your spirits, your energy, pulling toxins out of the hips, and allowing for greater flexibility of the spine and hips and legs. We're going to inhale. Fingertips are like claws on the earth or even a pillow or block if you need to bring your hands up. We're going to inhale, bow forward, straighten, straightening the legs. Exhale, squat back down, head up. Now toes are in alignment with the body the whole time. Heels are up and ideally touching the entire time. Inhale and exhale is one, two, three, four. Do 12 with me, five, six. Seven, eight, lift your head and heart as you exhale, ten, eleven, twelve, and one more for good luck, thirteen, inhale, hold, draw the energy up, hold the breath, squeeze Mula Bandha, that's the root lock, you're pulling in and up at the base of the spine. Rectum, sex organs, and navel all pulling in simultaneously. Beautiful. Exhale, heels down, toes forward, and bow. Fold forward a little more. Then inhale, rising up, vertebrae by vertebrae. Inhale, big. Exhale, and I want you to separate the feet a little wider. Knees bend here to keep the lower part of your body, your legs and your hips really stable. Your hips facing forward, they don't move. Hands on the shoulders, fingers in the front, thumbs in the back. Inhale left and exhale right. Come 
coming into the heart center, the Anahata Chakra. Feel free to open up the arms, bring your hands into Gion Mudra, first finger and thumb touching. Rest of the fingers extended, palms facing forward and fingers up to the sky. Inhale, straighten the legs, pull the elbows back. Big breath in, hold and squeeze. That Mula Bandha again, root lock, pull in and up from the base of the spine. Good, exhale, release. I want you to take a nice big inhale, making sure all 10 toes are facing forward. Exhale, reach behind the back. Interlace your hands, stretch your knuckles to the earth, heart to sky. Exhale, fold forward. Good, now release. I want you to take your peace fingers, reach for your big toes. If you can, hold on to your big toes as we do the next exercise. Otherwise, grab onto your, your shins, ankles. I want you to inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, lengthen over the right leg. Inhale through your center, exhale over your left leg. Go from side to side with a powerful breath. Good, now inhale through the center, exhale through the center. Each exhale, pull your crown to the ground. Beautiful. Inhale deeply. Lengthen your heart forward. Exhale, pull your crown to the ground. Inhale to release the hands. Exhale to heel toe the feet closer together. I want you to sit down on your heels with your head up. So grab a pillow or a bolster, anything you need to support your practice. You could place it in between your buttocks and heels or underneath the tops of your feet to make it more comfortable. And I want you to close your eyes. Pause for a moment and feel. And I want you to inhale, one shoulder up at a time, exhale, let it go. So much life all around me right now. So much nature. <laughs> So much beauty. But now I want you to close your eyes. 
and I want you to see at your third eye if there's anything that is weighing you down, feeling heavy in your life. And I want you to take the shoulders up to your ears. And if there is, I want you to exhale and let it go. Just let both shoulders drop as you exhale. Inhale, take them both up again. Exhale, let them go. Anything that gets in the way of you tr truly enjoying who you are. On the journey of life. Happiness is moment to moment. But joy lasts. Joy is a way of being. In every situation. Allow yourself to surrender, to hand over to the universe what is no longer needed, so you may create more joy in your life, more peace, more acceptance and understanding, and more love for all. Good, inhale. Squeeze, hold. And exhale, let new oxygen, blood come into those areas of the throat, of our fifth chakra. Take a moment to pause, give thanks. for who you are and all the gifts in your life, all the blessings. Opening your eyes to all things that come to, as blessings in different ways. And then I want you to rotate the head in one direction. Inhaling as the head moves back and around. Exhaling as the chin moves across the chest. listening to the sounds of your breath, the sounds all around you, the subtleness of ether, that element of ether. Ether, also known as the subtleness of the universe. That which we connect to as we move into the throat area. The bottleneck of the chakra system. The next time your chin comes to the chest, pause and take it in the opposite direction. If you're practicing outdoors with me right now, feel all the elements.
Feel the earth underneath your feet. Listen to the sounds of the water moving, flowing, creating and changing. Feel the warmth of your breath within you. The warmth of the sun. The element of fire. Feel the breeze across your face. The element of air. The quality of air that we breathe. That fills our lungs and our heart. With new prana. With this life force energy. Inhale. The next time your chin comes to the chest, I want you to inhale deeply. Taking it all the way in and exhale completely. Good. I want you to come up off your heels, curl your toes under. Take your palms of your hands, massage the low back. As you press your thighs forward, you've heard me say it many times, pressing and lengthening and stretching the front of our thighs. Balances the minerals in the body, especially the calcium magnesium that is responsible for balancing our moods and our emotions in the body. Good, so press the thighs forward, start there, then lift and lengthen, open up the navel and heart. Then let the head fall back last. You can take your hands to behind your thighs or all the way to your heels. You choose. Just keep pressing the thighs forward. Good, open your eyes wide to the sky, tongue out. Pulse the belly and dog breath. Tongue out, eyes wide. Panting like a puppy dog, a happy puppy. and cleansing your throat chakra, opening up all the chakras, all the way up the spine. Good, inhale now, and I want you to bring your hands back to your low back, inhale through the nose. Lift, heart first, then head. Exhale as you counter the pose. Sitting back in child's pose. Bringing your hips back over your heels, separating your knees as wide as they need to come. I want you to bring your hands together, taking child's pose one step further to Guru Pranam. Good, and with Guru Pranam, we extend the arms forward, palms together, elbows lifted, but third eye on the earth. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling to the base of your spine. 
Exhaling all the way up to your third eye. Inhaling Sat, your truth. Exhaling Nam, your name or identity, all the way up the spine. Good, moving that inhale. Moving that energy to the base of the spine with your inhale, exhaling all the way up to your third eye. Two more times. Bringing yourself back to the intention that you have set. As you've opened up, maybe adding to that intention. Allowing whatever it is to flow through you. Good. Walk the hands back. I want you to come seated once again, but this time in Baddha Konasana with the soles of the feet. Bring the soles of the feet a little bit together and, and the heels a little closer in towards the body. Good. And I want you to hold on. I want you to hold on to your toes. And I want you to close your eyes with your heart lifted, chin in, butterfly the knees, back and forth, up and down. Now I want you to do that breath of fire, but as if you're blowing out a hundred birthday candles. As you butterfly the knees. This is a kundalini yoga exercise that is specifically cha channels this sacral chakra energy, this creative energy, this feminine energy. Blow out those birthday candles, one after another. Every breath, every exhale, navel pulses in. And you paint another color of the butterfly that flies freely. Beautiful. Inhale deeply. And exhale. And I want you to bend forward, bow forward. Bow forward. Pressing, maybe pressing the elbows or triceps against the thighs to press them down. Inhale. Exhale. Releasing tension with that exhale. Opening up to all that is. Inhale. And release. Exhale. You can hold on to your knees and press them together. Good. And I want you to come on to your back. And as you come on to your back, I want you to hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice big hug and squeeze. And then I want you to circle the knees in one direction as if you're painting, drawing circles in the sky. Good, and then take it in the opposite direction. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. Then hug your knees into your chest. Exhale, release the soles of the feet right next to your buttocks as close as possible. And I want you to hold on to your ankles or hands flat down next to you. As we inhale, we're gonna lift. We're gonna lift our hips off the earth, navel to sky. Exhale back to the earth. Now rather than staying in bridge, I want you to inhale up, exhale down. Pelvic lifts. Inhale up, exhale down. Let your hips dance with the energy of this mantra. This will actually lift your energy for the day, give you increased energy. Release any stress or tension that could be being held in the sacral region of the body or even at your stomach, navel. Inhale up, exhale down. Good. Inhale. Beautiful job. Inhale. Lengthen and lift. Hold it now. Maybe interlacing the hands underneath the body if it feels okay. Hugging those knees a little bit closer together. Taking another nice inhale up. Beautiful. Exhale. And as you exhale, I want you to keep your hands, palms down, right underneath your buttocks. Extend the legs. Bring the legs together. Point the toes. Take your elbows right underneath your body. And I want you to press into the palms of the hands. Press into the elbows. Lift your heart towards the sky. Keep those toes pointed as you let your weight drop right onto the crown of the head and fish pose, Matsyasana. down on your back and I want you to take a moment to pause take a moment to pause on your back with your palms facing up inhaling sat exhaling nam Experiencing, honoring the truth of your existence. All that makes you you. There is no one else just like you.
Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Inhale, stretch your arms over your head, toes in the opposite direction. Exhale, hug your knees to your chest. Good, and then I want you to tuck the hands behind your kneecaps. Roll back and forth like a little ball curled up back and forth. One more time to massage the spine to come to seated. And as we come to seated, we're refreshed. Energy is moving and flowing through every chakra, every energy center. The body is open, the mind is calm, and the spirit can receive. So now we take this mantra, Had Hare Hari Wahe Guru. The mantra for creativity for creating and co-creating all that you want in your life. The seed has been planted. Now let it flow and manifest. And just enjoy, experience the joy of the process. And as we do this, in the theme of our Mantra Mondays, we chant this mudra in motion which is what celestial commun communication is and we're going to move with this and chant with it and i want you to take your hands interlace your hands take the thumbs and press the thumbs together so this contains the energy venus lock thumbs pressing together and I want you to chant HUD, HUD. And I want you to tap, kind of tap at your sacral region of the body, right at the, you're in your lap. HUD, HUD A, HUD A, the creative flow right here at the creative process at the navel. HUD E, manifestation. Bring your hand into lotus your hands the base of the palms tap together the pinky fingers and thumbs connect the rest of the fingers open up into a lotus right in front of the heart center so it's hud hade hadi and then you just take it up wa he guru and open it up hud hade so just feel it tap tap lotus Wa he guru in celebration of the process. Moving from darkness to light. Moving from a place where there's darkness, confusion, questions, and moving into a place of answers and light, trust, and process. I dedicate this one to Mary Lynn, a dear friend, a woman, and yogi. So listen first. It goes fast. Now just do the hand positions. Do the hand positions again, the mudras in motion. And then join me when you're ready with the chant. Wahe Guru, Had Hare Hari, 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 Wahe Guru, 
हर हरे हरि वाहे गुरु 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 यू नो दिस मंत्र नाउ been listening to it moving to it close your eyes feel it from the inside out har hare hari wahe guru har hare hari wahe guru har hare hari wahe guru har hare hari Hey 
you to bring one hand over the other at the center of your chest. Hmm. Press your heart into your hands. Rise through the crown of the head. Pull your chin back in space and take a nice big breath in. Hold that breath. Squeeze in and up at the base of the spine. Pull everything in at the navel, tip of the tongue to the roof of the mouth, and hold. Consolidate. Concentrate. Keeping the hands over the heart. Exhale. Inhale deeply once again. Fill up with this breath, this prana, the divine that moves through you with the breath. Fill up, hold, contain it. Exhale, and one last time, inhale deeply. And I want you to hold the breath, not with your shoulders. Let the shoulders relax down your back, but hold the breath. Feel all that lies within. 
behind the hands, the center of your being, in every chamber of your heart, every chamber of your soul. And exhale, let it go. Together we are creating a new world, a new existence, a new way of being. Let's create it together in the highest of vibration always. Thank you for being here. Thank you for getting on your mat, joining me here in beautiful Los Osos, California. May you count your blessings today, each and every one of them, and enjoy the ride. Let us close class, seal our practice, send us on our way for a beautiful day by chanting one final Sat Nam. Let that Sat radiate from your heart center out. Bring the palms of the hands back together. Press the palms together. Feel the energy between the hands, between your palms as the hands are an extension of our heart. Feel all the energy there. Inhale deeply to close class. Seal our practice and send us on our way. So love, health, and peace to you. Bring the hands from the heart to our third eye. May they always be connected. Satnam.